I think the fear is that the nightmare for climate scientists is that we, we cross a threshold which we can no longer uh, do anything about the climate. Uh, and do we know what that threshold is? No, uh, but but I, the, the debate is, I think, increasingly that in terms of uh, parts per million, 450 uh, parts per million CO2 equivalent is probably the last point where scientists would, would bet that we could uh, uh, stabilize climate. Some might put it at 500, some people are saying, well, it's just not practical to stop at 450, but you better think differently. I mean, it's like slamming on the brakes on the Titanic. If you think it's not practical because uh, some of the uh, furniture may get dislodged, uh, you know, forget it, forget the furniture, throw it overboard, uh, shift course directly, reverse engines uh, dramatically. In terms of temperature, uh, I think the consensus emerging is probably two degrees centigrade warming is about as far as you go. Uh, James Lovelock, uh, the, uh, the British scientist, says that our situation is kind of like being on a boat uh, in the Niagara River above the falls and losing the engines. And when, when that happens, you're just swept over the falls. There's not a thing in the world you can do about it. Hmm. And I think that's the, uh, that there would be perhaps some who think the, the limits are higher but not that much higher. Uh, but the, the fact of the matter, the honest fact of the matter is we don't know. We don't know where those limits are. We don't know where the threshold is. And so not knowing where that threshold is, uh, the best course of action we possibly can take is to limit carbon dioxide on a, an emergency basis.